Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with my That 70s Pan project pan update. This is a project that was created by myself and Cece and her channel's name is um, The Diva Next Door. I knew that. And we decided to create this project because we both are such fans of the 70s and we were inspired by other pro projects like Child of the 80s, That's So 2000s, the 90s project, so we just had to do this. So we came up with a list of 70 prompts that have to do with the 70s. This project started on July 27th of this year. It goes till July 27th of next year. And our um, suggestion was to start with seven items and roll things in or out as you want. Of course, you can do whatever you want. I don't care what you do with usage goals. Um, I hope you're enjoying this project if you're doing it. And I don't know, let me get into how I've done this past month. Okay, so I have a lot of prompts rolled in because I decided at the beginning that I was going to start with seven and then every month I was going to roll in seven more regardless of how many I used up because I really want to get through all the prompts. So the first thing I have in is for beanbag chairs, something you are comfortable using. I brought in my Lorac palette. This is the, the Lorac Pro 2 and here is the color story. I brought in the shade Rosé, which is right here, and I'll give you a swatch of it. My goal is to finish it, and I've only used it 10 times. I didn't use it at all in this past month. I really have been bad about wearing makeup. I go like off and on, it's so bad. Um, but anyway, I still have the same amount of uses, so of course it's not gonna look much different, so or any different, so there's that. For wood paneling, something brown or something that is a dupe, a fake of the original, I decided to put in my Too Faced Sweetie Pie bronzer, and because I'm crazy, or because I love this bronzer so much that I really wanna get some good usage out of it before you know, it goes bye-bye, because, I mean, it is a old bronzer, but it is holding up so well. Anyway, my goal was to use it 70 times or hit pan. Here it is, here is what it looks like, and I have not used it at all this past month. I have 14 uses on it, and I didn't use it anymore because I'm currently working on another bronzer for another project that uh, ends this month, and I really wanted to get uses usage in on that. So there's the rosé. I think I swatched it, but I don't think I showed it to you. And there is the bronzer. They actually look really good. Like I could probably use this as an eye, them both as like an eyeshadow or something too. But there are those two products. They haven't been touched. Hopefully they will for the next update. Then I brought in for crochet blankets, granny squares, something old. I brought in the Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder. This is by far my favorite powder. And you guys, I have a goal to finish this. It went from 23.56 grams to 23.46 grams. And look at this baby. This is like almost done. I am strictly using this under my eyes. Um, it is such a lovely powder. I think I do have the same shade. I'm, I don't know. I'm swatching it for you. Can't even see it. It is just so beautiful. I guess you can kind of see it there. Diffuse light for sure. It just leaves such a beautiful look under the eyes. It doesn't get creepy. The hour, Hourglass pro products are definitely like understated as far as like they're not bam in your face, but they're just beautiful. So while I'm really excited that this is almost done, I'm almost kind of sad too because I love it so much. For lava lamps, something liquid or neon, I brought in my Victoria's Secret perfume in the scent Scandalous, and I had a goal to get to that bottom line, and so far I'm right up there. So I still have to use it a little bit more, and that's okay. I like the scent, but here's the deal. It's not... It's not a long lasting perfume. I put it on in the morning. I mean, I think it's gone by the time I get to school. That's how I feel anyway. Um, other scents I smell on me and they stick around and I can smell them later. This one, no, but that's okay. I really enjoy the scent. I mean, it's not a really pricey perfume, so I don't expect it to, you know, do miracles, but I'm enjoying it and I'll keep using it. For shag carpeting, something ugly, I brought in this Koki Set and Forget Long Lasting Makeup Spray. I think this bottle is super ugly. Plus it was like leaking and so now it's really ugly around here and it's like sticky, but like I can't peel it off and clean it. So I'm just imagining what this is doing to my face. It's like hairspray. 
it's an okay setting spray, but I would think it's more like a finishing spray than a, a, a setting spray. So I have a goal to finish this. I started last month at 83.96 grams and it went to 74.43 grams. So it's getting there. I don't know. I'm anticipating I'm like right here or something. Um, then for Statement Stone Fireplace, something rough, gray, large, or all three. I brought in this Lorac Pro 2 palette again. This is gray, obviously, and I brought in the shade Jade right here. I have a goal to hit pan in there, and so far I've only used it two times. There's the shade. It's a really, 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 really dark green. When I think Jade, I think of like a brighter green, almost with like a hint of turquoise in it or something, but this is what it comes out on. I would think this is like, this should be called like forest or something. I mean, it's a super dark green. I am actually wearing it in my outer corner today. This is a lovely palette. I really enjoy it. I just honestly forget to reach for it. So I just have to do better at that, but there's Jade. For alarm clocks, something that clicks. I brought in this Urban Decay D-Slick because when you push it, the you know, this part, the pump, it clicks. So my goal was to finish it and I did. So this is rolling out and I'm really happy. I really enjoyed that setting spray. It worked really, really well. I love the Urban Decay setting sprays anyway. And this D Slick one worked great in the summer. I was in Vegas, I was in Phoenix. I was here where it's humid and gross and it really, really worked well for me. So I'm pleased with that. For pattern paper, bold geometric shapes, bright contrasting colors. I brought in my Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette to use seven times. So far I've used it six. There is like shadow all over it. And there you go. I mean, it's starting to use a little more, look a little bit more well used. I used the blues when it was 80s day at school this week. Um, here's the deal though. These are getting so super dry. There's Tiger's Eye. That's a very lovely shade right there. And I used to be able to use these with a brush. I no longer can. There is the shade Vibes. It's really pretty. Here is Raw Energy. I'm wearing Raw Energy today. Um, there's that. So here's the deal with these. I feel like the cream ones are more like toppers, whereas they used to be more like full-on shadows for me. And then we have these um, on the corners. They are just... Um, just regular matte shades that are fine. I think I'm gonna declutter this after this project because they're getting so dry that they're just not pleasant to use anymore. And I have a lot of like super shock shadows and I have other formulas that I really like. I'm really glad I got use out of this, but I think after the one more use, I'm just gonna declutter this because it was good while it lasted. But again, I have other shades and these just aren't doing it for me. So that's that palette. I like it, but again, it's just not doing it for me. For sunken living room, something with a dip or a pan, I brought in this unique blush. I call this my light pink blush, and I have a goal to finish it, and that's where I'm at with it. It went from 6.49 grams to 5.96 grams. It's a really lovely blush. I finished my other unique blush that was in a similar pan. There it is there. This is beautiful. So, I mean, I'm using it and it's got really this really, see that like goldy sheen? I mean, you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my cheek, but it's this beautiful sheen to it. I usually pair it with the Physician's Formula um, blush. It's, I consider it more of a blush topper that I'm panning. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's probably going to be sticking around for quite a while, that blush, but I'm okay with that. I really like it and um, I enjoy when I use it. So, there you go. I don't mind that. Um, for floating staircase, something you consider dangerous. I brought in this Tarte Fake Awake because I have to use it in my waterline and I always feel like I'm poking myself in the eye when I'm using it. But this is a really lovely eyeliner. It totally does fake awake my eyes. I mean, it really makes them look bright on the bottom without being like a bright white. And I truly enjoy this. Um, I have a goal to finish this. It's still sitting at 0 0.9 centimeter, centimeters, oops, or millimeters. Um, or is it centimeters? Centimeters, duh. 
and I really like it, but it's gonna be around for a while. It's just one of those products. For TV dinners, an all-in-one product. I brought in this Misha Perfect Cover, B Cover BB Cream because it says it innov innovatingly, innovatively pairs makeup and skincare with a BB cream that helps brighten skin tone, care, care wrinkles, prevent signs of aging, and heal blemishes while providing excellent coverage. Okay. I like it, so I want to use it. I have a goal to use it seven times. I've used it four, and it went from 60.29 to 60.24 grams. I think I only used it once this past month, but that's okay. I'm using it. For rattan furniture, something scratchy, either packaging or product, I brought in this MAC bronzer <laughs> in the shade Matte Light Rosy. It's beautiful. I bought it this summer when I was in Vegas with the girls, and here's what it looks like. It really does look nice on my skin. I am panning so many bronzers, it's ridiculous. Like, who am I? So there's that. It's gorgeous. It's a really good shade match for me. I truly do enjoy it. So um, I have how many uses on that? Only three. It's the same as last month. Like I said, I've been concentrating on that other bronzer that I have rolled into another project. For floral sofas, something with a floral pattern, I decided to bring in this gloss that Jaylon brought us back. And my goal is just to use it for the project. I don't know how many times. I don't have a goal of specific times or if I want to finish it. I just want to use it. Here's the thing, though. I don't use it very often. I was going to put it next to my bed, but it's got a pink tint to it. So I don't want to use it before bed, and then it gets all over my pillows. I mean, it's enough of a tint that it would do that. So I've been keeping it here, but then I forget about it because like, I don't want to stick my finger in it. I hate sticking my finger in a gloss. So I really just have to put this front and center and like make myself use it because it is a lovely formula and I really like it. And I really love that Jaylon thought of me and brought it back. Um, and I want to get some use out of it. It did go from 30.19 grams to 29.81 grams. So I did use it a few times, but not a ton, and that's okay, it'll get used. It was just brought in last month, so we'll see. For push button phones, something with a pump, you have to push it to make it work. I brought in this Mac Fix Plus Deluxe size, and as of last month, I was up there, and now I'm all the way down here, and my goal is to finish it, so I think as of next month, it should be done. Stereo system, something that amplifies your look. This was rolled in last month as well, and I rolled in this KVD mascara. This is the Trooper Black Volumizing Mascara. I didn't think this was volumizing at all. I didn't like it at all. I felt like it really didn't put much product on my lashes, um, and I had a goal to just use this for the month because that's how long I keep um, mascaras, like mini ones, in my rotation so this is a rollout and I'm also calling it an empty because it's dry and I can't get any more really out of it but it really didn't do that great of a job when I first opened it either so I don't know I'm not a fan tell me what you think about it because I don't know it's called go big or go home and I'm like go home <laughs> go home so declutter oh not decluttered finish okay I have a lot of products in front of me this is like a heavy hitting project um, okay, so for macrame, something with a lot of detail, I brought in this Bare Mineral Minerals Blonzer because it's got such a beautiful pattern on the front of it. So here's what it looks like, and I have a goal to use this seven times. I've only used it once, but that's okay. I'll get more use. Look at how beautiful that is. This is in the shade Kiss of Rose. Now, Danny made me do this, but when I was in Vegas, I was like, Danny, what should I get from um, Bare Minerals? And she was like, the bronzer. And I was like, okay. And I was deciding between Kiss of Nude and Kiss of Rose, and I'm so glad I went with this rose. It is so gorgeous. It's like definitely a Kim shade. It's got a little shimmer to it, and I really, really like it. For... Oh, yikes. Oh, I forgot to mark something. Yay! That's a good thing. Okay, so from Colonial Furniture, a large product or a product from your largest category, I brought in my ABH Carly Bible palette. This was a gift from Deb. She was decluttering it, and I really wanted to try it, so she sent it to me with a bunch of other lovely things. I have a goal to use it three times. I've used it zero. I'll get to it. I just haven't yet. For fringe, something that makes you look extra. I always feel like a lid topper, it makes me look extra. In fact, I have one on today from this palette. Actually, I have two. 
And I brought in the Minka palette from Adept. Oh my God, you guys, this is gorgeous. Today I have on my lids, Layla and Nora, these two. This is Layla, this is Nora. Now, when I first started using these, I used them with brushes and I was very disappointed. I was like, really? Then I stuck my grubby little fingers into them and I was like, these are heaven. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm super glad that I let Jen talk me into this palette. She was talking it up and saying how much she loved it. And I have to agree with her. This is beautiful. So I hit goal. My goal was to use each shadow once. I did. I'm happy that it's rolling out because that means I hit goal, but I'm really sad because it's so lovely. So I'll have to pull it in for something else in another project somewhere, but this one's going bye-bye for now. And then for radios, use a product that reminds you of song or one you've heard about on the radio. I pulled in my Ilia Fade Into You powder because Mazzy Star, Fade Into You, I love that song. And that also reminds me of like the 90s and stuff like, like it just reminds me of growing up and I love that song. So I have a goal to finish it and it only went from 52.29 to 52.26 grams because I really didn't get a lot of use out of it at all. In fact, I probably only used it once because I was panning a lot of things and I was really trying to use up things from another project that is ending like in one, two, three, four more days from today so yeah all right so let me um show you what else I am bringing in because like I told you I bring in seven items whether or not I hit goal on seven or not I hit goal on two but I'm still bringing in seven. So for funky lights, a funky product to you or something with interesting package, I thought this Victoria's Secret First Love perfume was interesting. It's got like a sh nice shape to it. And I have a goal just to get to that line. I'm I, I'm trying to hit goal and, and pan a lot of perfumes right now, so I just kind of want to rotate through them, so I have a goal to get to that line. Pod chairs, a comfy product or something you use to pamper yourself. I brought in this Silken Souls Exfoliating Foot Mask. I love these things. The fact that you could put these on, wait a few days, and your feet like peel and all the skin, it reminds me of when I was a kid and I put glue on my hand and let it dry and then you would like peel it off. Did you guys do that or am I like the only one? I know Deb did it, Deb B, we talked about it. And we both are fascinated with all the skin that comes off our feet when we do these. It's like, we're like, oh my God, I'm peeling. So I am thrilled and I hope this one works. I usually use this, I usually use the one from Walmart because it's so freaking good. It's the Earth's Therapeutics brand, but I'm going to attempt this at some point. I don't know when, whenever I feel like it, I guess. But usually when I do this, I put them on and then I'll go and I'll knit and I'll just like watch a movie. And by the time the movie's done, I take them off or in the middle of the movie, I'll pause and go take them off because I think you can only have them on for like an hour, hour and a half, whatever. So that's my story. For popular pottery, something that can break easily. Well, we all know that Essence packaging, the compacts, they break all the time. So I'm bringing in this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I did a full face of Essence um, not too long ago and I really enjoyed this powder. So I'm bringing this in <coughs> for a seven times usage goal. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. It just looks like powder. Okay, Chrome Finishes, metallic product. Excuse me. I am bringing in, I feel like I'm punishing myself by doing this because holy crap, these are going to be in forever, but I have to use them. I have to start using them. I am bringing in all of my Cleona shades to use once. <clears throat> and here they are. They are gorgeous. And I don't use them enough and I want to. So I'm bringing these in to use each one one time. And it's gonna take me a long time, especially because I don't know which ones are better as toppers, which ones I can actually use as shadows. So I'm gonna play and I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna report back to you monthly on how I do and which ones I use. And I'll give you swatches of them then when I actually use them. For Pyrex dishes, something repressed. I took this mineral pigment. This was a loose pigment from Unique and I pressed it into this pan. This is in the shade called Confident and it's a really nice brown shade, like coppery brown. 
not coppery brown, bronzy brown. I really like this shade, so my goal is to finish it. I don't know that I will, but I'm certainly gonna try. I really enjoy it, like I said, so it should be a good shade for me to either put all over the lid and put a lighter topper on top or even use it in the crease or outer corner. There's a lot of ways I can use it, so fingers crossed. For record players, a round product, I'm gonna bring in the Touch and Soul No Problem Eye Primer. I believe I only have like this much product left but it's still gonna be a lot. So I have this in to use seven times to go with the 70s. So I'm gonna use it seven times and see how we do. And then last but not least for dark tones, a dark colored nail polish. I almost peed my pants when I saw this because I don't paint my nails ever. And the fact that I have to use a dark colored nail polish, now I know I could use it on my feet, but I kinda wanna force myself to use it on my fingers. I really wanna try to paint my nails and see how I do. So I am bringing in Zoya's Adina, Adina, I think it's Adina, and it's got this really pretty like duo chrome purple and green, and I think Deb and Zanny will be really proud of me, Jaylon too, because she paints her nails all the time, and I have a goal just to use this once. Maybe that's a cop out, but I don't paint my nails, so I didn't wanna set a goal like seven times or three times, and then it's just hanging out, staring at me. So I'm gonna use it one time and see how I do, and I will report back on that. So fingers crossed, say all the prayers. Okay, wow, that must've been, it must've been a long video because my camera cut out and it hasn't done that to me in forever. So anyway, give me all the good juju, say prayers, whatever that I can um, finish things and move on. I forgot what I was even freaking saying, but it's been a day. Um, it's a Friday, I'm a teacher. I think that explains it all. Oh, and it was homecoming week. It's homecoming week. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for giving me part of your time and part of your day and spending some time with me. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Hopefully, bye.